Hello there, Erunar here, and today we are going about Mycenae and competitive meta. I will show you a few army compositions and I will tell you essential information about all units you need to play multiplayer battles efficiently as Mycenae. So, uh, I would like to start with three or four different cores. One uh, core of your army will be elite units. For example, you will always bring Agamemnon's companions. Then we got missile core. We got missiles to choose from. And I recommend you two options to bring to your armies. Uh, long, range, long range option, renowned slings are reliable. You can uh, also bring a Kyung slings they are efficient and for skirmishing I highly recommend using skirmishers which have more models and they are very fast and very good at skirmishing so that would be missile core and then we got chariot core in multiplayer battles we play with one chariot and one heavy chariot is more than enough now let me go back to the infantry and to the elite core you know we as my cine, we are going to use companions they are the strongest the best optionally against uh, cavalry or chariots you can decide to go with guards they are similar slightly weaker it will all depends on your money uh, then I, I highly recommend bringing some fodder in form of young spears, other units are not so good. Then you need uh, some mid game unit, mid, some kind of fodder. Uh, club warriors are perfect flankers for my cine. I highly recommend using them. And you can consider shielded spearmen. Uh, but there is one very special tactic with this unit. Uh, you put 9 XP ranks to this unit. It will be efficient uh, endgame frontline and you can switch it for to be efficient kill line. You can also experiment with club warriors with 9 XP. They have 50 and 50 attack de defense. Very comparable and strong as well. And, and then we have to choose hero. Uh, very lazy way would be choosing hero on the archer platform and skirmishing. Uh, then we got Agamemnon hims himself, which is perfect for blood sacrifice. You can either have him on, on foot or on melee chariot. And you will be using Blood Sacrifice to boost your elite units. Then, we also have access to the Spartoi. Uh, together with companions, uh, Spartoi is very strong uh, charger as well. So maybe you can decide to go for this kind of elite core. And if you want to kill enemy hero, you can decide to go with Minotaur. These are heavy investments. You will bring chariot, you will bring some cheap slings, you want probably hero. Let's say Agamemnon is going to boost our units and then we got remaining funds for more cheap units. This can be like very aggressive army composition for Mycenae. You will have to skirmish to deal with enemy missiles and then you can charge enemy infantry. If you want a much safer option with Mycenae, you can go with frontline. Let's say you, you can mix these guys together. Uh, you want some flankers, of course, maybe some fodder, maybe you want skirmish from safe distance, 
maybe you you are fine with long range instead of uh, skirmishing. Maybe you just want Minotaur to right click enemy hero and kill him. And remaining funds you can bring more guys and we, we got still money for some flanker for example. And this would be quite safe, uh, quite good army composition. So and I want to show you how to play the Mycene in the in the actual map. So let's bring some standard army composition that we that would be balanced and uh, optimal for for this roster. So uh, yeah, we really want to do some skirmishing. We want cheap units and we need some good mid tier front line. Yes. And very shortly I will show you the tactics or the battle tactics uh, with this army roster against enemy, against opponents who are playing well. So in this map we got forest, we got uh, grass, we got Minotaur who will be trying to get to enemy hero. We are going to use skirmishers on the front. Uh, young spears as well. We want our elites to be on the reserves. Long range to be kind of behind the front line. And in our case our front line is warriors okay just let me space them out in in slightly better uh, positions so I said that I will start skirmishing with the skirmishers that is perfect then I need two young spears to go and explore and also some fodder to support the skirmishers. Then I want to use club warriors to be my solid combat force and behind them I want to place my long range javelins. And on the last we got our Agamemnon companions and that would be it. So our strategy usually is to skirmish with javelins, uh, Minotaur to watch out the enemy hero, Young Spears are fodder to, sc to scout terrain and to die, and the rest of the force is to deal damage. When you charge with Club Warriors, you can switch them with Companions, Companions will be able to delete any unit, even one of the strongest units in the game. And that would be it. That's, that's all, have, have luck and fun in battles and see you later.